Good morning, Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School, uh, coming to you from the Rancho Cortez in Bandera, Texas. So yesterday, we went up to outside of Plano and picked up my two horses, uh, Boone and Rodeo, and brought them back down. Now I'm going to move Boone this morning and uh, put him in another pasture. So a lot of times when you have a good horse, a good broke horse, but a horse that's really intelligent and has a big engine if they've been off for a while and their mind is on their little buddy and their mind is on the hay when you go to catch them and move them they're not fighting you but they're not paying attention so i have a feeling that's the way boone's going to be this morning and so i have a little drill that i do when they get like that and I, that's what we just i want to share that with you this morning so we'll see how he does i'm gonna go over here and catch him another thing i'm gonna do when i go over there is i'm gonna go over there and see if rodeo will let me just go up and touch her a little bit i'm not going to put a halter on her she's not broke yet uh, she's just kind of a little bit starting halter broke she's one year old and so i'm getting her used to the idea that just because someone comes up pets her scratches her a little bit that doesn't mean she's going to get haltered and stuck in a trailer okay so we're going to go over here see what we get and we're going to go with the flow hey girl Hey girl. Ooh. Now he's moving because he don't want to get caught. And she's moving because he's moving. And that's all right. That's just the natural dynamic of the horse. I'm going to move her out a little bit. Now you guys asked in other videos, what do you do about a horse that don't want to get caught? She don't want to get caught. Easy girl. The biggest mistake people make on a horse that don't want to get caught is they follow them. They follow them from behind and that just engages their natural wool girl. And I don't want to catch her. Now I know if you've been watching natural training videos, you're like, you should join up, you should do this, you should do that. I don't teach that stuff because a lot of people don't have those facilities so I'm just gonna stay with her I'm gonna let her move and all I want her to do is just stop moving and they just gonna keep coming back to the hay Ooh. I want her to stop moving there we go so I can just scratch her a little bit and move away when I want to move away that's all I want there you go I just want her to learn if I'll stand still he ain't going to do anything to me, and then he'll walk away and leave. Easy. There we go. Now I'm going to quit. Good horsemanship is not just knowing what to do and when to do it, but it's knowing when to quit. So what I got was I got a little bit of scratches in there on her, and I quit before she walked away. So now it's in her mind, hey, you know what? This ain't going to last forever. So now I got Boone here. We'll see how he does. He's doing all right. So I do something with a horse. There we go. He's doing all right. Oop. Now I didn't hit him. If you saw the video from that side, I didn't touch him when you saw him jerk his head. But he came into my bubble. And this horse will he'll kind of crowd me and so i just flip my elbow and what that does he stops and he says oh yeah i gotta watch out for that not enough to hurt him or make him head shy but enough for him to pay attention so now see now he moved his head over there because he wants he his mind is where that filly is and where the hay is i need him to have his mind on me so we're going to take a minute before i go to lead him off and we're going to play where am I. I'm going to walk off. And I'm going to move. And he has to pay attention to where I am. If he don't, he might get a little bit of bump in the nose. Where am I? Move his butt around, move his butt around, move his butt around. Where am I? You say, Dwayne, that looks a little vigorous. With him, it is a little vigorous. He's like some of them precocious six-year-old boys. 
Big difference between them and little girls. You really got to get their attention. But he's good. He's good this morning. Okay. Whoa. Back up. Back up. All right. So you raise and lower the energy depending on your horse and what your horse needs. But if your horse is head, when you go to halter your horse and their head is over there, they're over here, they're spinning their butt around, they're not paying attention, just take a moment, get their mind on you. How do you get their mind on you? The horse's brain is in their feet, it ain't in the head. Move the feet, like we said before, okay? All right, just a little extra something this morning. Um, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.